Welcome to the lesson on 2010 BLS Guideline Changes. In this video, we will summarize the AHA changes to BLS Guidelines in 2010. Previously, the initial steps were Airway, Breathing, Compressions, or ABC. The literature indicates that starting compressions early in the process will increase survival rates. Therefore, the steps were changed to Compressions, Airway, Breathing, or CAB. This encourages early CPR and avoids bystanders interpreting agonal breathing as signs of life and withholding CPR. Look, listen, and feel for breathing was no longer recommended. Instead of assessing the individual's breathing, begin CPR if they are not breathing or only gasping for breath, have no pulse, or if you are unsure, or are unresponsive. Do not perform an initial assessment of respirations. The goal is early delivery of chest compressions to cardiac arrest individuals. Cricoid pressure was no longer routinely performed. Pulse checks were shorter. Feel for a pulse for 10 seconds. If a pulse is absent, or if you are not sure you feel a pulse, then begin compressions. For infants, use a manual defibrillator if available. If not, then use an AED with pediatric dose attenuator for infants. If an AED with dose attenuator is not available, then use an adult AED, even for an infant. High quality CPR consists of the following. Compression rates of 100 to 120 beats per minute for all individuals. Compression depth between 2 to 2.4 inches for adults and children and about 1.5 inches for infants. Allowing complete chest recoil after each compression. Minimizing interruptions in CPR, except to use an AED or to change rescuer positions. Do not overventilate. Provide CPR as a team when possible. This concludes our lesson on 2010 BLS guideline changes. Next, we will review one rescuer BLS and CPR for adults.